Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create your own website animation background in Wix using Adobe After Effects. So we're just going to be creating this star field background. If you don't have time to create this video, I do offer a digital download for only $1.99 for three uh, star field video backgrounds that you can use as a website background. I will leave the link in the description box below. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new project. So just go to File, New, New Project and I'm just going to hit no, don't save um, and then we're going to create a new composition and I'm just going to name this website background and I'm just using the standard 1920 by 1080 HD and we're going to make it a 30 second duration. The first step is to create a background layer so we're going to go to layer new solid and I'm just going to name this BG for background and I'm going to change the color to black the next step is to create our stars layer. So we're going to go to layer new solid. And I want to change this color to a light blue turquoise color. That's what I want my the color of my stars to be. And then I'm just going to rename this stars. The next step is to add the CC ball action. So under effects and presets, I'm just going to search for CC ball and I'm going to drag that into my stars layer. If you don't see your effects and presets over there, just go to Window and make sure that your effects and presets has a check mark next to it. Next, we're going to change the settings on the CC ball action. So we are going to change the scatter to 1024, the grid spacing to 2, and the ball size to 10. Now make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of the time frame because we are going to start by hitting the stopwatch on the scatter to create the animation and we're going to bring the scatter down to 700 and the next step is to drag the time ruler all the way to the end of the time frame and then we're going to change the scatter back to 1024. And you can play with the numbers, to, um, it just depends on how fast you want these stars to scatter in your animation. So the next step is we're just going to add a quick glow to the stars. So under effects and presets, just go ahead and go to glow. And I'm just going to drag that glow into the stars layer. And I'm actually just going to leave the settings as is. So now it's time to export our footage so there's two ways you can do this you can go to the render queue or you can do um, you can export it to adobe media encoder so right now we're just using render queue and i'm just dragging that into the render queue box and i'm just going to make sure that the format is quicktime and then you can just select output to to select where you want your file to be saved and then just hit the render button on the right hand side now after that's completed, we're going to jump into Wix and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use it as a background on your Wix website. So we're here we are in Wix. I just created a new page and as you can see, the option to change the page background is there. So you just click on that and go to video. And then just go ahead and select upload media and upload from your computer. And from here, you just want to select the file that you exported. So Wix makes it really easy for you to upload these videos into your page background. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit, click change background. And as you can see, uh, the background is in there and you can just go and click preview and you can see what it will look like as a animated background in your website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to check out some of my artwork, check out digitalartfx.com.